Hey YouTube, this is Dave, and today we're going to install a virtual private network, a VPN, on our Synology disk station 414. Synology has made it super simple. If you go into the package center, you go into utilities, and you can go down here and we can install our VPN. Now in case you don't know what a VPN is, a VPN is a virtual private network that secures your computer's internet connection to guarantee that all data you are sending and receiving is encrypted, secure from private eyes and the public, and it's a guarded path that tunnels your connection to keep your data safe and secure. The benefits are data encryption, access to block sites, private from the public, keeps you anonymous to your ISP, hackers, and the government. The benefits of setting it up on your Synology NAS is that there's no cost and there's unlimited bandwidth. There are no restrictions on how much data you can send and receive. So let's get started. We're going to install the VPN server. And I'm going to show you how to set this up with your PC and also set it up with your iOS device or your Android device. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to get this running. So now we have our VPN server installed. And when you open it up, you'll see there's a bunch of tabs here. The VPN server handles point-to-point -point tunneling protocol. It handles layer two tunneling protocol and open VPN. Today we're going to concentrate on PPTP. And what we're going to do now is just click here and basically hit apply. Now it's going to tell you to make sure that your port forwarding is set to port 1723. So what we're going to do now is we're going to log into our router. So basically uh, what you need to take note of is what is your IP uh, address for your NAS. Uh, when you install the disk station manager, your NAS uh, automatically gets its own IP address. And you could find this IP address up here uh, in before the uh, the semicolon. Uh, there'll be uh, you know three numbers dot three numbers dot one number dot uh, one or two numbers. And you have to just take note of that. So now let's go into our router and you got to be able to sign into your router. And most routers, uh, just like this Netgear one I have here, has a section where you can hit port forwarding. We'll log in and then here you'll see port forwarding, make sure that's clicked off. And then you just go down to PPTP. And basically now you're going to put your Synology's uh, server, the server IP address. So I know mine you have to type in yours and then we click add and basically you just added it in and it's 1723 just like it asks us here 1723 is open so we hit OK and we're all set so now we can close this out let's go back into our server and we're gonna click privilege and everything's gonna be checked off let's just uncheck the ones that we're not gonna use just for admin, that's who we are. Make sure you hit save. And then we'll just go to connection list here. And now we're going to set it up with the Mac. So with the Mac, you open up preferences, network preferences. You can find it under settings, under network. And then we're just gonna hit this little plus sign here. And we're gonna click VPN. And we're gonna go PPTP. And we're going to name this whatever we want. Okay. So now we're going to create that. Takes a second. And now it's created. We have to put in our Synology's IP address. And we're going to put our account name, which is our admin. That's what we sign into our Synology with. 
and we could put this to the maximum 128 and we can set a password in here so that you don't have to do it every time or you could just leave it blank and have to do it every time but I want to do it ahead of time and you can also download certificates from your NAS and that will be in future videos so now we're going to hit apply uh, actually let's hit show up here so it shows in our menu bar and then we hit apply and basically now we want to connect to our VPN we just hit connect or you can actually connect from up here and now we're connected to our VPN it's sending and receiving uh, another thing you could do is go under advanced and send all traffic to VPN connection and we'll hit apply always hit apply and now we're all set we can close that out and now we are connected securely to our VPN so let's disconnect from here and I'll show you now how to do it from an iPhone so basically we're gonna mirror my iPhone right to the desktop and you're gonna go into settings and general and then you can click VPN so we're gonna add a VPN connection we're gonna do PPTP we're going to put a description we'll just call this iPhone and then we're gonna put our server in here our IP address for our server and same thing as we did on the Mac and we're gonna pre put in our password encryption maximum and that's pretty much it we're gonna hit save it's gonna take a second and now we have our VPN so now let's take a look you can go back in and change things if you like or you could just go ahead and hit the on button and now we are connected and you'll see that VPN right at the top uh, of our of our iPhone here VPN so now we are connected securely using an iPhone let's see if we could do it at the same time with our Mac yes we can do a Mac and the iPhone connect at the same time let's take a look at our log and it tells you pretty much who's connecting to what our connection list shows the two IPs of our Mac and of our iPhone and that's pretty much it folks we connect it using the Synology VPN service I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on our next video. Make sure you hit the like button. Thank you.